Answers tonight from one of the state's top Democratic lawmakers wanting to know the details behind state prison maintenance contracts that are raising eyebrows. According to the News and Observer, this matter is getting the attention of the FBI. WNCN's political reporter Bo Minnick joins us in the studio with the latest. Bo? Sean, next week the Governmental Operations Committee will meet at the legislature and rest assured this case is going to come up. Today, House Minority Leader Larry Hall said people need answers on many levels, and he called this case a, a case of pay to play. It was time for the governor to come clean, for him to come forward and let us clear this situation up. House Minority Leader Larry Hall didn't mince words talking about the McCrory administration's role in the extension of prison maintenance contracts with Charlotte company, the Keith Corporation. Documents show McCrory pushed for a meeting last year with Chairman Graham Keith and Department of Public Safety Secretary Frank Perry. Keith is a McCrory campaign donor and reportedly said at the meeting he has given a lot of money to candidates and now it was time for him to get something in return. Elected officials who can grant contracts unfortunately sometimes listen more to people who've given them political contributions than they do to the needs of the people of the state. WNCN obtained documents showing Perry disapproved of the contract extension. State Budget Director Lee Roberts said it would save the state money. Ultimately, the contracts were extended. But the Governmental Operations Committee at the legislature didn't see the deal. They are supposed to review contracts. This, though, was a contract extension. Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger and House Speaker Tim Moore removed language in the budget that would have required all contract extensions go through the General Assembly for review. Spokespersons for both say at the time they had no knowledge of the contract extension with Keith or the FBI investigation. When that particular issue comes up in committee next week, Hall says Berger and Moore should recuse themselves. You can take lipstick off a pig, it's still a pig. It's a contract. Berger says Keith did contact him explaining how private contracts would save the state money and Berger checked with the budget director and with DPS before he and Moore took the provision out. The spokespeople for Berger and Moore criticized Hall for, quote, his failure to investigate crimes during the Easley administration or scandals during the Purdue administration. Bo Minnick, 